How y'all are? I'm glad for you to see me again on tea. I'm gonna taste this jambalaya first. Let's just go ahead on and cook. Get the part of the chicken that I like. Turtle stew, come here, boy. Mm. You know that looks good? This is going to be good, I'll be on the tea. Talk to it like it knows what I'm talking about. I like it, it's good. I believe in easy cooking, believe me, I do. How y'all are? I'm glad for you to see me a guarantee. We've got some lamb we're gonna fix for you today. A lamb and potato casserole and lamb patties. I'm first gonna work on the, the uh, casserole, lamb and potato casserole. And it's gonna be good. The potatoes have been mashed, the lamb has been fixed to mix with that. And that's exactly what I'm gonna do with it too and put it in a nice little casserole dish there and get with it. Listen to that bloom bloom. Let that fool can't say flounder. <laughs> yeah, my goodness sakes alive. What I have here now is this, this, uh, this lamb, I, I bought it and cooked it for about 10 minutes. Thought it would be when in seasoned water. So we'll have a little more flavor in just raw lamb. And um, I'm gonna mix that with mashed potatoes. Might just well get to mixing and quit talking about it. But I am, in this right now, come here potatoes. In here I'm going to put the lamb and mix it well. That's good enough anywhere I want to put it. I'll mix it real well. Got to. It'll be pretty. All right, lamb. Be nice, don't bite. Let's just get this done right. And after I fix these lamb patties, this, this lamb and uh, potato casserole, I'm gonna make some lamb patties and just fry the devil out of them and eat them as I go along, too. I love lamb, I really love it. American lamb, lamb that hadn't been frozen. And I have a friend who raises lamb out in, out in California. And when I go out there, we eat a whole damn lamb, I'll tell you the truth. <laughs> he knows how I love lamb. Get this mixed up. I see got to put all I got to put in here now. It's got three cups of lamb. It's been parboiled a little bit. Four cups of mashed potatoes. And they've been cooked and really tender. Seasoned with water, with minced garlic and salt and drained. And I'm gonna put two tablespoonful of sharp cheddar cheese. I'm gonna wait until I get that lamb in that little deal over there before I do that, because I'm gonna sprinkle that on there. And then I'm gonna cover the top of it with, with cheddar cheese. Good yellow cheddar cheese. I got that mixed about as good as I'm gonna get it, I think. Wearing myself out, let me move this out of my way. And I'm gonna take this over there and put it in there real pretty light. Cover it with cheese and put it in the oven where it's got to go. It's uh, 350 degrees, but just and you got to watch it. You don't want it to get too hot. You can't keep it from getting too hot, but you can take it out if it gets too hot. Okay. Well, let's get in there real nice. That's a nice looking casserole dish. Let's get that in there, spread it out. Help me mix it better too. Now you're going, looking better every minute. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yes siree, yes siree. Yes, sir. Yeah, man. That's looking good. See if I can't get all that in there right quick, like. Not quick, like, but easy, like. Did it. Nearly all of it. Gonna get it all. Place you right there and spread you out good. 
and put them cheese on top of you. What I'm gonna do, put this right here. I don't need it at this moment, but I do need to put you in there. Now you come over here where I got the cheese. Put that cheese on there, isn't that pretty cheese? Good American cheddar cheese. I'm gonna cover the top with that after I sprinkle this uh, good uh, Parmesan cheese in there and it'll sink down in it, don't worry. This is about uh, two tablespoons full of grated Parmesan cheese, grated real fine. Mm. Just a little spreading with my hand. Now we put this good cheese on top of that. Just spread it on it good and you eat what's left over, you know? <laughs> I'm not gonna leave much over though, I'll tell you the truth. I'm pretty good at fixing this stuff where I'll come out even. Come on here, now you're going. And this is not sliced thin. We, we cut this cheese ourselves. We didn't uh, buy it sliced like this. We wanted to cut it like this, but it comes out good, you see that? This is gonna be pretty, 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 pretty. Get yeah. down there, don't be acting like you don't want to do that, because I know you do. And they told me this tear out of that cheese, it wouldn't have enough. <laughs> and I love it. Let's get in there, we cover every, every, every corner we can with that cheese. I'm gonna do it. Come here to me, you, you I'm talking to. Now we got it. This needs covering there. It needs some right there. I see a little hole sticking itself out of me, and I'm gonna cover it good. Yeah. And that's all I'm gonna do. I don't care what anybody says. Now I'm gonna put this in the oven and let it bake until the cheese is melted real good. And it tastes so good. It really does. Put this over here and set it down while I open that hot oven. You know how that is. Oven hotter than 20 yards of where the devil has his mansion. You know what I'm talking about, don't you? All right, let's go in here like a nice little boy now. Now cook, damn you, cook. <laughs> now what I got to do, I'm gonna have to mix this, this patty material here with my hands, and they're clean. Believe me, they're clean. And I'll just wipe them one more time now. But these are clean. These are clean hands, washed them yesterday. <laughs> and in this, I got my recipe here. I, I, I don't want to forget anything. When you, when you create cooking as I try to do, and do, do quite frequently, as my mama used to tell me, don't try to remember them, write them down. And I do this. Uh, I got a little bit better than two pounds of lamb in here. It's ground. I'm gonna put a half a cup of dried parsley in there. But first of all, I'm gonna see if this is it's just right for me to start putting stuff in there. And I gotta clean dish towel, and wipe my hand as often as I would like to. This is a half a cup of dried parsley. That's a half a cup. This look like a cup to me, so I'm not gonna put any more right now until I get this in there good. Now, all right, let's go. Let's get with, stay on the, stay on the table now. Talking to the, to the pan. You know, dried parsley has a good flavor. It tastes just like fresh parsley. If you don't tell anybody, they never know the difference. Believe me. Let's get in there good. Now we're good. You see why I got to mix this with my hand? I don't know any mix that I know of can get this like I'm getting with my hand right now. I'll tell you that for true. This making me think of a story. I'll tell you after a while, I'm busy now. Now let's put a little more of that parsley in there. And, and knead it is what you call kneading. You knead it. I'm gonna put a tablespoon full of onion powder in here in just a minute. Mm-hmm. If I just get this mixed like I like it, hold still. I'll go this way if you want to go like that. I'm gonna make you pat it right. 
If everybody in this place says no, they're wrong. I'm gonna mix it right. I guarantee you. Onion powder. That look like onion powder. That's garlic powder. Come here, onion powder. That's onion powder. I'm gonna put it right in here right now. It says about a tablespoon full of onion powder. That's a tablespoon full, I can tell. Now we got the mixture in there real good. I'm making patties and I'm gonna fry and I'm gonna taste them and I'm gonna eat one. Just sure that I'm an inch high. Bet your last dollar on that. I need one of those heavy crocs to, bring, to mix this so it stay on here with me. But I'm doing all right. I'm getting it mixed up and that's all I want to do. Now into this, into this, I'm gonna put a tablespoon full of white creme de menthe. Cream de menthe to most people. Ain't nothing in there, shucks. Here it is. Yeah, that's cream de menthe. A tablespoonful. Actually, I think it ought to have more with somebody argued with me, so I said, let's do it all. We just put it in like you say. All right. Oh boy, you coming along fine. Now into this, I put some garlic powder. One teaspoon, no more. It looks like a pretty good teaspoon, don't it? I'm gonna put it in there anyhow with the one. Yeah, it'll taste the garlic good for you, and I love to eat it. If they say it's healthy, you look at it the healthiest man in the world because I eat it every day of my life. We eat some garlic. You notice that that uh, professional way I have of mashing this meat up? Getting that stuff in all over it. Come on here, garlic. Gotcha. Now into this, I have some uh, mild picante sauce. We got to put that in there. Spread it around, Justin. I think it's a tablespoonful. That's what it is of picante sauce. Oh, that's smelling good. Even before I even start cooking it. Got to get it through it, and I'm getting it through and through, I guarantee. Hoo wee. Mm -hmm. I got one egg. I'm gonna mix that egg up real good with that little, little old spreading thing I got. But right now, Get it off my hands for just a little bit so I won't throw that thing out on the floor. Come here, eggs. And I just beat this till it's terrible. Beat it both ways. Get on there. Now that'll hold that together when we're frying. You know, that's why we put that egg in there. Actually, that's about the only reason to put the egg in there. But I got to mix egg and all. Whether well, you like to put your hand in the eggs or not, you got to do certain things you don't like every now and then in your life. Oh, you're looking good. Now, patties, get ready to go in that frying skillet over there. As soon as I put a little olive oil in it, Mm hmm. If that egg don't hold out together, I'm gonna be one mad Cajun, I guarantee. Mm -hmm. All right, now we're gonna put you right over here. We're gonna move you from right here. We're gonna wipe your hands one more once until you get the way you gotta pick up that thing. This is a clean dish towel we put out here just for this purpose. And it does a good job. Now what I want to do is put this frying skillet right here. Put a little olive oil in it. I use olive oil to cook with more than any other oil. But number one, it's supposed to be healthy. That's about two or three tablespoons. No, that's three. Three tablespoons full in there. It's supposed to be healthy, and I like to be healthy. Now it says salt and pepper to taste. 
I didn't put anything in here, so I'm gonna put a little pepper. It's cayenne pepper. And a little salt. And I'm gonna turn that fire on and mix that one more once. See, this is the right one. Yep. What you know about that? I got the right fire. Whew. I'm gonna sit down here and be where I'm I can see it, I'm gonna put it on a medium fire. Come on out here now. Just cause my hand agrees, you don't act silly like that. Now, what I'm gonna do is mix this one more once to get all that salt and pepper out of one place and all the way through this. And it's getting all the way through it too, I guarantee. Mm. Mm. Come on here. I see this remind me of that story I've been trying to think of today. And I know what the story is, but as soon as I get one frying, I'm gonna tell you this story. This Cajun story is supposed to be true, and I don't doubt it. Why doubt it? Nobody believes it anyhow. Mm. Come on here now. Now he's doing fine. And I'm gonna make a nice pretty patty. Make a nice pretty patty here. It's gonna hold together. Betcha, it's better. And this is a patty, not a burger. Come on. And that oil is hot enough for me to put one in there, I'd bet money. Don't come apart now, you'll embarrass me if you do. I hear it frying. Just a little larger patty. All right, patties. Don't stick to the bottom of that thing. It's got oil in it. You're not supposed to stick. So nice, did it? Man, that's smelling good. Mm -hmm. And ain't all it tastes good. I could eat it raw right now. It's smelling so good. Don't mm -hmm. smell that. Mm hmm. Now I've got to dry my hands good enough to hold that spatula to turn them over. So I'm gonna have to turn them here pretty soon. I can tell, I can look at that and tell. Let the Lord that fire a little. And I did. I want to tell you that story. There was a, a Cajun scientist. He was always scientific in something, you know. And he, he wanted to find a big stone, big rock. Well, he lived down in the swamp in the, in the marsh and there ain't no big rocks down there. So he went up north, way up north, around Shreveport, <laughs> right near a little town called Shongaloo. And he went on top of a deep hill, he went on top up there, and he found a great big round stone, and that's what he was looking for. So he got that round stone, he took a, 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 a sludge hammer and all kinds of stuff to get it loose from what it was stuck to. And he got it loose from it. And man, he pushed it to where it rolled down that hill. And there was a little small town down there. That stone rolled through. The blacksmith, the barbering shop, the beauty shop, the library. And then it went right through a bank Ran, finally ran into a church where they had a fire going in the fireplace. And that said, you know that's hot? And what he did then, he went down there and people were just screaming and hollering. He's in there around the fire. He said, don't worry, this is scientific research going on here. Don't worry about that. And he got that rock and he started rubbing it all over with his hand. And he hugged that rock. Come on, turn, turn, turn. 
There we go. He hugged that rock real good and finally just went all over it. He stood up. That's true. No more. A rolling stone don't gather no more. Oh, you're going pretty good there. I got to let this fry just a little. And I'm going to mix a couple more and put it here, though. I can't let this get by with that because I need one myself. Like this one right here. Let's go with old Justin Flake to be sure you got one to tell the people whether they're good or not. I can tell you they're good. Right now, I can tell by the way they smell that they're good. This little piece here might just well go in my plate, too. I don't want to miss this thing. Not at my age. Uh-uh. Yes, sir. There I go. I'm on cook, cook, cook. I usually cook these a, a medium, not too well done, because lamb is so tender and good that you don't want to just overcook it. Nine. Nine. Don't those look pretty? They are pretty. They are pretty now, I'll tell you right now. Ooh, wee. I've got to put another batch in there, though, if I can. And I think I can. I'm going to try. I've got to turn that fire down some more. That is hot fire. And that grease is hot in there, too. You hear? I know what I'm talking about. Scars me up. Mm-hmm. Patty. Not a burger, no. Patty. It's some of the state fairs up north, north of Shreveport, way up north. You go get a, a, a lamb burger. And they're delicious. And I love to make a meatloaf with lamb and ham. And it tastes good. It really looks good. Come on, boy, you're doing pretty good, I can tell you that. It's red now. Need a little more on that. Mm-hmm. You look done to me, I don't know about you, but I'll tell you in just a few seconds whether they've done enough or not. If they've not done enough, we'll turn the fire up a little bit. One more in here. Mm-hmm. I'm going to sit down over there as soon as I dry my hands good enough to pick up my fork at night. And I'm going to check this stuff out. Lamb patty. I'm telling you right now. I know some girls named Patty. They're they, a lot prettier than these lamb patties, too. <laughs> I get one, too, I do. Now, put this right here. Go sit yourself down real quiet like, like a gentleman, Justin. And uh, let's check this lamb patty out. Looks good to me. Maybe I ought to turn those first, but I'm not going to do it. They cook it on slow fire, low fire. Stand still, chair. Just put my napkin like I'm supposed to do that, too, you know, be a gentleman. <laughs> going to do it, too. Stuff that down in my belt so it won't drop on the floor. Now, this is the lamb and potato casserole. I think I'll just put that right on here where I can get at it. Come on, come on. You think you're gonna stay in there? You're just wrong as hell. Now I got you. I want to taste that in the patty about the same time. Mmm. That good Melican cheese. Let's see what the patty tastes like. Mm-hmm. Oh, nice. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Ah. It maybe could cook a little bit more for most people, but it's fine for me. Mmm. 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 I mean, that is fine. Let me pour a little wine to go with that. Red wine. What kind of wine you eat with this, what kind of wine you drink with that, the kind of wine you like is what you do with. That's the only thing I know to tell you about wine. I like a good red wine, or a cheap one, too. Mmm. 
that casserole is delicious. You hear? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm.